Well, good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, and Golo Kante. He is only one midfielder, but it often feels like he does the work of two or three. He's got exceptional awareness for danger and the stamina to make sure he can go and, and snuff it out over and over again if required. He's also exceptional in the tackle. And when you watch him in the latter parts of a game, 90th minute plus, he looks as if he's in the first five. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Well, as you can see, we've already started here. Timely intervention. Hughes. Pulisic. Conte. Pulisic. He's had a go! There it is! Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Conte. Pulisic. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Ducore. There has been just the early goal here, and the score is 1 0. Jorginho. Giroud. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Plays it over to the other flank. Dawson. Across the field it goes. That's a throw. Conte. Battles to win it back. Pulisic. Now can he finish? Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Conte. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Beautifully done. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Cathcart. Good challenge. He just stood firm. And it's William. Giroud goes for goal.
And the defence can get it clear. Ball's out on the left now. It's come loose. William. Giroud. Pulisic. William. There's the whistle for half time. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. And we're underway again. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Kapu. Hoists it forward. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Oh, real danger here. Good goal. Has a hit. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Kiko sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Substitution's place. Oh, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Header! And it's hoisted clear. And it's Ducore. Shoots! Good save, he got a decent fist on that. Clears it out of harm's way. And the counter is on. Now it's William. Giroud. Pulisic. And here's William. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Coaxed through there. He's left his man. Giroud. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And it's Jorginho. Danger averted for now. And here's Giroud. Big chance! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. So here comes the substitution. Christensen. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, while the temptation's always there, Peter, I think it would be ill-advised of them to try... William! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. Chelsea really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Point blank header! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Substitution. 
So there's going to be another change here. A warm ovation on his way. And the header! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Kiko Femenia. Pereira. Hughes. And it's played forward. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. William. It's William! He scored! And surely now, the result's beyond doubt. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now, that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. After 77 minutes, number 10. Time for a change in personnel. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Things starting to look very comfortable. Out for a throw. Couple of changes then in quick succession. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Giroud. Number 17. Hudson Atoy. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Hughes. Finds himself eased off the ball. Keeper sends it forward. Zuma. There will be five minutes at a time. Forward it goes. Well back! They've done it! Drama at the death! Is there time for one more twist? And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Goal! Number 10. Well So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. We have got ourselves a game here. William. And here's Giroud. I've managed to get it away. And there goes the final whistle. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch, just one between them. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Chelsea simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo.